Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Rebuilding the Cutlass. In this episode, we're going to start overhauling the interior. Let's get to it. So ever since I've owned this Cutlass, I've never really liked the interior on it. It's green and it matched the exterior of the car back when the paint was on it that is not this plastic dip. Uh, that worked fine for then. It didn't look terrible or anything like that. It was color matching. But uh, since we painted the car black and in the future I might go back green or some other color, the green interior is just not what I want anymore. So what we're going to start doing today is we're going to start changing it to black. So we're going to switch all the seats, the um, headliner, the dash and everything like that. It's all going to go black. And that's really what we're shooting for here. So let's go ahead and take a look inside here and see what all has to get changed to black and what we might get to this episode. So let's get in there. So let's go ahead and hop inside the car here. So first thing you notice is obviously the front seats are black. Those are out of a newer car, I think a Jaguar X-Type. They work okay, uh, not terrible. They're a little tall. I think the seat rails are a little too tall for here because my head almost hits the ceiling. But uh, other things that are green in here are like the door panels, the dash pad, everything like that the steering wheel we even got the seat belt covers that are even green including the seat belts so let's go ahead and go over to the other side here where it's a little bit easier to see the rear seat so you can see here that the rear seat is green the upholstery isn't even that bad it's just the fact that uh for, first of all it smells it smells like a ton of mice have been just peeing all over it so that needs to change out the rear uh, door panels or uh, coupe panels are also green still and also the armrest we got those on order currently. And then also the rear deck lid is green. Uh, we got that uh, fabric as well, so we might be able to tackle that in this episode or the next episode. But the uh, thing that we really wanted to work on was that rear seat here. So I think the first thing we need to do is just go ahead and get this rear seat out of here and get it on the floor and see what we're working with. So now that we have the seats out of the car and uh, on the cement here in the garage, uh, we can kind of take a look and see what all we have to do. So it shouldn't be really that hard. It should just be some like hog rings all the way around and peeling off the old uh, material, also the burlap and the, whatever they use, cotton, foam, anything like that. Uh, same thing with the back here. But uh, the main thing is, is like things like this. This is what I was telling you about uh, the giant hole right here uh, because a mouse decided to eat through it. Uh, the whole entire back seat underneath like the cushion uh, and the floor pans, uh, they had mice droppings and stuff like that. They didn't need to be, that all needs to be cleaned up uh, still. Uh, it must have been from when I stored it in the pole barn last year, but this was this interior was already gone. Uh, but yeah, it's things like that where uh, hopefully my new interior doesn't do that. I'll try to take every precaution I can. But uh, I think that's pretty much the first thing we have to do is just start tearing off this uh, material, get it down to the bare uh, uh, spring frame and just start taking a look to see what we have to do then so let's go ahead and start tearing this all apart get it all off and uh, see what I have to do next so I'm going to start first by using my wire cutters here and I'm just going to cut off all the hog rings all the way around from the actual foam and old burlap and cushion and everything like that. So let's go ahead and just wrap this up and throw this into the uh, trash bin here. Alright, now with that in the trash, we have just the rear seat cover left. 
I'm just going to keep this just in case I need to reference anything off of it for a while. Uh, like I said, it's junk, but just in case I need to just check something real quick, I have it and uh, we'll go ahead and start looking at the uh, old spring frame and see what materials we have to actually cover it. Now that we have the spring frame completely undone, we can take a look and see if anything needs to be addressed here before uh, taking out the new material. But uh, looking at it visually, I don't see anything wrong with it. Uh, normal wear and tear, uh, but I'm not seeing any like uh, springs poking up or anything like that. Uh, all the spring frame is still intact. All the welds and everything like that are still there. So I think we can go ahead and just take this and we'll go ahead and look at the new material and the foam and everything like that and see what we have to do. So let's go ahead and take a look at the items that we have here in front of us. So just like the old one, we have burlap to uh, lay over the top of the spring frame. We have our foam. Uh, this is two inch thick foam. And we're gonna to try to fit that underneath there. Hopefully uh, I can pull and stretch and everything like that to get that two inch thick high density foam underneath there. And then we have our actual seat cover. So this is a black seat cover from PUI Interiors. So now I've heard good and bad things about PUI. I'm really hoping that I can get this uh, seat cover on fully, no issues, no wrinkles, no bumps, no nothing like that. Uh, but this is the part number 70CS10C2. So this is the black vinyl rear seat cover. And then we have some hog ring pliers and hog rings. Uh, I'll have a link in the description. Uh, I try to have uh, the product information and also places you can get things like this. Uh, so go ahead and check that out down below. Also, while you're down there, please make sure to click like and subscribe. It really helps me out, helps my channel build and grow. But uh, for now, let's go ahead and try to lay down some of this burlap and see if we can uh, start working on this spring frame. So let's go ahead and start by cutting the burlap to size and lay it over top of the spring frame. Now with the uh, burlap cut to size, we're going to use our hog ring pliers and we'll go ahead and start by going all the way around here and uh, attaching the burlap to the spring frame. Alright, we got that burlap all laid down, hog ringed in. It's looking really good. I think I got it right. Uh, I'm not no professional at this, so it's actually my first time doing it. Watched a lot of YouTube videos on how to do it, so hopefully I got this pretty much right. But uh, next we're going to go and lay down the foam, and like I said, it's two inch thick foam. I'm really hoping that we'll be able to stretch everything and get it over top of it, get a nice cushion down on the rear seat pad. And uh, so let's go ahead and get the foam and, and see what we can do. All right, well, I went ahead and did a first cut. I just did it the horizontal way. I have no clue uh, if I need to do it this way or not. It depends on how much this folds over here, how much room I have on the vinyl. I don't think I need all of this up front here, so I might have to take off a completely straight line up here. But I kind of like how it looks on the sides. It kind of rolls over a little bit. I probably get a nice squish down, so that way uh, it has a nice tight feel all the way around. So I think we just need to get out the rear seat cover, lay it over top, see what we have to do, see if we can push down on it, stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get it out and see what we can do. So now that we have the rear seat cover out, uh, we can go and take a look and see what we need to do here. So the material is actually really, really nice. I really, really like how it looks and feels. Uh, there's no bad stitching or anything like that so far that I see. But uh, I think the first thing we need to do is probably just hog, hog ring the back here, see how much we can stretch over front and uh, see if we actually need to trim up the front or the sides or anything like that. But from what I've seen on uh, line, it's mostly just hog ring the back stretch up front, kind of stretch up to the side, 
and see if you can get it to stretch out over top of everything. So uh, I'll do the back here and then we'll see what we can do here. really really long time to do everything here but let's go ahead and flip it over and see how it turned out hopefully not terrible all right so it's not terrible it could obviously be better uh, especially in this spot right here but I'm really not gonna worry about it it's good enough for me um, if I just throw extra padding or padding didn't curl down as far as the purse did. Uh, and this part right here looks like I didn't get this stretched down far enough. Um, but again, this is my car. It's not a show car. I just wanted everything to be black. It's looking better. I would have done some things differently uh, if I do it again, which I do have to kind of do it again. And it's going to be on the rear. I don't know how much harder that's going to be. This is two inch thick foam and I'm doing uh, inch thick foam on the back. So. Maybe it might be a little easier with inch thick foam, but I really kind of wanted a little extra cushion on this. So we're just gonna set this off to the side. Uh, again, it's good enough for what it is, and uh, I'm very pleased with it. Next, we're, uh, we're gonna work on the other one, but it's getting really late here. I still got some cleanup to do, so we'll probably have to do this in the morning. All right, well, it's next day now, and I did throw the seat out in the sun this morning a little bit when it was nice and hot and uh, let the sun beat down on it a little bit. And check this out, this thing's looking great. There's no lines, no nothing. Nice, smooth smooth finish, good conformity, everything like that. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Now we can do the same to the back rear seat as we did with this part of the seat. So let's go again, let's go ahead and get the back seat out and start working on that. All right, like I showed you yesterday, uh, this is the back part of the rear seat and it looks terrible. Uh, it's faded, nasty, everything like that. On the back side here, it is completely torn out, mostly from the mice. But uh, first thing we need to do is go ahead and clip all these hog rings again and uh, get each one of those out. And then after we get each one of those out, we'll go ahead and peel off this fabric. So let's go ahead and get that. So let's go ahead and get started on that. Well, that was a lot more of a pain than I thought it was going to be, but that cotton and everything like that was just getting into everywhere. Like it was inside all the hog rings and the burlap, everything like that. It was just getting uh, to be a mess, but got all the hog rings taken care of. Got the frame now off to the side here. And uh, I think I'm just gonna roll up all this cotton here and just throw it in the trash like I did the uh, bottom seat. But uh, yeah, we're gonna roll that up, throw that in the trash and uh, I'll store the old uh, fabric. It just looks terrible. I'm just gonna keep it for you know a couple weeks and then I'll probably throw it in the trash as well. But uh, we'll go ahead and roll that up, roll the fabric up, and then we'll get the frame back up here and then we'll start uh, uh, seeing what we have to do with that. So let's get to it. All right, so we got the wire frame up here. I'm gonna do it the exact same way I did the bottom seat. I got my roll of foam. Uh, we're gonna lay that out all the way across. It won't overlap up here. I'm probably gonna have to couple, splice in a couple pieces. Hopefully that's good enough. Um, I can kind of like just prop it up, try to see if I can get it uh, wedged in there to where it will look good and conform well because this is only 24 inches uh, wide, I think 24, and uh, I think I needed about 27, but they didn't sell that at the fabric store that I purchased this from, so I'm going to try to make it work with a little bit of the 2 inch foam that I have. This is only an inch foam for the back, uh, so that should be just fine, but we'll go ahead and lay this out uh, after getting some burlap underneath of it and uh, hopefully uh, just, it all goes very well. So we'll go ahead and speed through all this. I'll let you know of any gotchas I, I had through it. So we'll lay down the burlap, we'll lay down the foam, and we'll uh, catch it right before we uh, start throwing down the fabric. 
So let's get to it. cut the foam to a rough shape, hoping that this is gonna work just fine. Like I said, one inch foam, and we got two inch foam for the top up here. Hopefully that strip will be just enough, and also it will overlap onto it a little bit, hopefully for a nice clean transition if I stretch it tight enough. Uh, but we'll, what we'll go ahead and do is lay out this uh, um, back part of the vinyl, and we'll see how we can stretch this, see if it's gonna work all right, and if it works okay, we'll go ahead and just Hog, hog ring it down, but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this. We'll uh, let you know of any gotchas. I didn't have any issues with the burlap, just ran out of a few pieces at the end, so just using some scraps to uh, put it together. But we'll go ahead and lay this out and see how it's gonna look. got the rear seat back upholstered. It's looking really good. I didn't really have any issues with it. Uh, it fit all really, really well all the way around uh, everywhere. Just a little bit of stretching and stuff like that is needed. But uh, I'm really liking how it turned out. Uh, everything's looking good. I just need to set it out in the sun for a little bit so that way the uh, vinyl kind of lays out and smooths out a little bit. But uh, overall, I'm very, very, very pleased with how this turned out. It's looking exactly how I want it. But uh, let's go ahead and get both these together and take a look and see what they look like together now. All right, check this out. So we got both the back and the uh, bottom seat, part of the seat uh, out here, and it's looking really good. Everything is matching, conformity, everything like that. Uh, very, very happy with these uh, seat covers from PUI. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description of the part number and everything like that. But I uh, would definitely recommend these for the uh, cut list if, you have, if you're going to go back to black or switching colors from like I did a green to a black. But I totally would recommend PUI for this. Turned out great. They also have the, all the little buttons to uh, put into the back seat if you want them. I'm going to choose not to do them, but they do have them to make them look more like a factory look. Uh, because I'm pretty sure from the factory in 1970, they came with like the little buttons all the way around. But, uh, like I said, I'm not going to use them personally, and uh, these will go into the car just like that. But uh, I think the next thing we need to work on is the rear deck lid. So let's go ahead and start working on that. All right, like I mentioned, we're going to work on that deck lid next. So let's go ahead and pop in the passenger side of the car. And I went ahead and cleaned up everything here, and I took the rear seat belts out real quick. Those bolts are a pain. I ended up having to get the impact gun out to get those out. But this is the piece that we're looking at changing out now. So we got the rear speaker grills in there that are a mess. And then the uh, actual deck lid pad. It, only bolt that or nut or screw or whatever you want to call it that I seen in here was this one right there. And I seen it go down through here into the trunk. So between the speakers and the uh, one screw there, I think that's all I need to do to get this out. Hopefully uh, it's not tucked in too far behind all that over there. If it is, we might have to take out the rear door panels, which I have new ones of those coming. So it wouldn't even be that bad if I did take them out because I'm going to have to take them out sometime anyways. So let's go ahead and take the speakers out of the back and then we'll get this one screw out and see if we can pull this out.
got those speaker grills out of there and the uh, rear uh, deck lid mat wants to come up but I think I do have to take out the two side door panels uh, in the rear so we're gonna go ahead and do that another day uh, I got a few things I gotta do the rest of the day so we'll go ahead and pick this up tomorrow. all right well it's the next day now and uh, we can go ahead and start today by taking out those rear door panels or like the coupe panels for the back seat uh, we got to start probably by taking off that armrest and then probably the uh, rear door panel or coupe panel uh, and then uh, we should be able to get that back deck lid mat off there. So let's go ahead and hop in the back seat and start taking out some screws that are, that are holding them in. So we got everything out of the back seat now. Uh, got the rear deck lid, got all the side panels and uh, um, armrests, everything like that. So next I'm gonna focus on this area right here. So there is one part uh, way back in the back here that is green. I think I kind of want to uh, try to uh, change its color right now. So what I'm gonna do is uh, sand it down a little bit and then I got some rust converter uh, dupli duplicolor uh, paint. And I think I'm gonna go ahead and hit it uh, so I'm going to have to cover the back window with uh, um, tape and everything like that and uh, try to hit it, convert it back to black back there and uh, see how that goes. So let's go ahead and start washing this down, sand it down, and then uh, paint it black. All right, let's take a look, see how it looks. Well, it's black, but I do have a lot of rust still that I didn't get and tucked way back up into there. Kind of hard to paint all the way back into there with the glass still in, but it's better. Luckily the window is so fogged and faded and everything like that that I can hide some of this. But uh, at least it's painted black the best we can, maybe protect it for a little bit longer. And uh, I think we can go ahead and move on to the rear deck lid now. All the parts laid out next to me. Uh, one thing I want to focus on first, so that way it has a little bit of time to dry, is these rear uh, metal pieces right here that go up the uh, back of the uh, back seat. So they're just held into these armrests by two screws. What we're going to do is take these out of the armrest, and then we're going to give them a quick rub down and uh, uh, sand them down a little bit. And then we're going to hit them with some epoxy. Uh, paint and make sure they go right to black. It'll look great. So uh, we got two to do, one on each side. So let's go ahead and unbolt these, clean them up, and get them painted. <music> into the garage here so you can see that it's pretty standard just two basic uh, holes for the speakers or six by nines I actually got some six by nines on order so they should be here today uh, but it's pretty simple here uh, it looks like it's just a little bit of vinyl on the outside there that is just kind of protecting it and then maybe adding a little bit more um, like padding or uh, beefing it up a little bit but uh, we'll try to replicate most of this here I see that it's all stapled in and everything like that I'll have to figure out if I got a staple gun or anything like that, that I can actually do the same thing. But uh, what I'm seeing here is that we just kind of have to rip off all this existing stuff on here. We'll try to use it as a pattern for our new vinyl. And uh, we'll go ahead and just lay it on here. But uh, let's go ahead and rip this one off. And, uh, and we'll see what's underneath here, see if we can actually reuse this board too. 
because it is just wood on the back side of this. So let's go ahead and get started on that. All right, we went ahead and removed all that old fabric, uh, got it off the board, just took a bunch of staples all the way around. But I think the next thing we're gonna do is uh, show you what we got for the materials. We have some black marine grade vinyl, so this should be good for uh, heat resistance and everything like that, so that way, while it's in that back deck lid, it's not going to like discolor or show any weird, weird uh, wear signs or anything like that. So uh, this should be really good vinyl for the back. But uh, I don't think I'm going to get a new board for this. This board is still really, really solid. There's no like, it's not destroyed or anything. But I think I am gonna go through and I think I'm gonna sand it all down real quick. So that way, uh, I think I'm gonna use the uh, spray adhesive over top of it, unlike how they did it. They did it with uh, um, staples all the way around. I think I'm gonna do spray adhesive. I got some really, really good stuff that should be able to make this stuff cling right to it and hold tight for many years. So uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get the sander out. We'll sand it all down. Then we'll put this black vinyl over top of it and uh, see how it turns out. and uh, sanded it all down. We even took the jigsaw out and rounded out these holes to the new speakers that uh, we just ordered and got actually. So the speakers will now fit into these holes correctly and won't have any issues after we lay the vinyl down. Um, so this is looking really good. Uh, I actually went ahead and uh, sprayed a little bit of the adhesive on the back here and just wanted to test it out real quick. So I cut off a little bit of that vinyl and uh, pressed it on there. And I want to see how it lays down, how strong it is, everything like that. Make sure that this board is going to be able to uh, support the uh, glue or the 3M uh, adhesive to the vinyl. So we're letting that dry overnight uh, because honestly a lot of this stuff took a lot longer than I thought it was going to today. So uh, I got to wrap it up now, but uh, we'll go ahead and catch you guys in the morning and we'll see how this uh, vinyl is sticking to the uh, piece of wood. So, All right, well, it's the next day now, and uh, we got the board back out. We have the vinyl still on here, and it's holding really, really strong. I really liked how that uh, worked out. The 3M, uh, 3M spray adhesive is doing really well. But uh, what we can go ahead and do now is get out the new vinyl, go ahead and prep the other, other side of this by spraying the adhesive down, laying it down, make sure we got everything cut correctly. But uh, we can go ahead and just start by laying down the vinyl today and uh, getting this back deck lid piece all taken care of. So let's go ahead and get that vinyl out, cut it, and then we'll uh, spray it down and put it down. So I think we're going to use the hood of the cutlass to lay down the vinyl here. So we'll go ahead and lay it on its back and uh, then we'll put the board on top of it, find how big a round we want to uh, trace around and uh, cut it out. But uh, the hood of the cutlass actually is big enough workspace to actually work with this. So let's go ahead and lay this out. All right, now we have the fabric all cut. I actually rolled it up uh, backwards. So that way we can go ahead and spray down the adhesive now. And then once it actually sits for about four to five minutes, then we're gonna take that and we're gonna roll it out that way. So that way we get a nice straight pattern all the way through. And then we might apply a little bit of heat through a heat gun to try to smooth out any of the wrinkles and try to get everything to lay flat. But uh, we're just trying to get the top part down. And then once that dries uh, for a while, we'll go ahead and fold it over underneath and uh, tuck it in really tight. But uh, and now what we're going to do is just spray the adhesive and then roll this out. So this is the adhesive we're using from 3M, part number 08090. Uh, it's just regular adhesive, but it's super strong and it should be exactly what we need here. Uh, it's meant for high temperature situations, similar to like what we'll have back there. And uh, it even does like vinyl tops and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and shake this up, spray it really well and uh, get that vinyl done. So 
onto the 3M adhesive and uh, it laid down smooth pretty well. But we did have to get the heat gun out a little bit to uh, smooth it out a little bit more so that way it would be nice and nice and flat. Uh, but I'm really like how it's turning out right now. We do have some sun today, so I'm gonna go ahead and throw it out in the sun, let it bake for about 30 minutes or so, and continue to watch it, make sure nothing is kind of like bubbling up or anything like that. But uh, I'll go ahead and take it out in the sun right now, and uh, we'll kick it back in about 30 minutes, and we'll flip it over and do the other side where we can then go ahead and lap everything over. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, we went ahead and let it bake out in the sun for about 30 minutes. Now we can go ahead and spray adhesive again all the way around the sides here. And then what we can do is then roll up the sides and uh, tack it into place. Hopefully that adhesiveness is uh, strong enough. We can uh, use a little heat to make sure the vents come all the way up around too. Uh, but we'll go ahead and start that now by spraying that adhesive and get going on it. guys so we went ahead and laid that all down we got the uh, flaps overlapped everything like that it's looking really 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 good uh, I do want to add a few more staples on the back end of that because I did run out of them but uh, I got more coming and we're gonna just tack it down even more all the way around the back side just like how they had it uh, before I took off the green stuff but uh, as far as the speakers go I'm gonna wait to cut those out until I get it into the car because I want to make sure that we don't cut too far back I want to just do some testing and trials and everything like that but uh, I think this is a wrap for now. I'll go ahead and just add those staples off camera and uh, we can go ahead and move on to the next part. So I think I'm actually gonna call this uh, episode a wrap, um, mainly because we are just waiting on a few parts and everything like that. But uh, we got a lot done today. We actually got the rear deck lid done. We got the rear seats done. We got those two trim pieces in the back that go by the uh, back seat. And uh, we got a bunch of stuff uninstalled. So it was actually a really, really positive day. Uh, or week and uh, we'll just go ahead and uh, pick up where we left off in the next episode where we get all the rest of the parts for the cutlass like all the rest of the interior pieces but uh, until now until then uh, make sure to click the like button subscribe to my channel and uh, check out the next video so thanks for watching